I told you to watch out for the Warriors. This Warriors team could make the NBA Finals. About a week ago, I made a video talking about Buddy Heald and the hot start that he's gotten off to. Well, it has continued. It's not just a hot start. It's a hot season for him. Okay, yes, it's still early on, so it's still a hot start, but we'll discuss him a little bit more in a second. If you watch this page, you know I've been saying I am high on the Warriors. I think this team is going to be nice. I love their off-season pickups. I don't know how many times I can <laughs> I don't know how many times I can repeat that, but I loved this roster. And it's showing up and translating in their wins. And they might be going under the radar right now just because the season is still early and things can change very fast. But let's get into the Warriors. Now these numbers were posted before the game started, so it will vary a bit because, you know, they just had a game. But did you know that the Warriors are number one in the league in scoring margin? Did you also know that they are second in the league in three-pointers made per game? That scoring margin is 20.4 points, and that three-pointers made per game is 17.6. Did you also know that they are number one in assist? Now that should not be a surprise because they have always been top in the in assist, you know, when Steve Kerr took over. So that shouldn't be a surprise, but they are number one. And the number for that is 31.6 per game. Again, they just played tonight and they won again. So the numbers will vary after this win. If you watch this page, you know, yesterday, I did a video talking about the Cavaliers and Kenny Atkinson, and I was showing how the Cavs defense, they're third in the league. And who were they behind? Number one was OKC and number two was Golden State. Well, it shows up again <laughs> in this video because Golden State, like I just said, is second in defense, but also second in opponents field goal percentage, which also, you know, makes sense because defense. They are first in opponents three-point percentage at only 31.6 per game. So what that means is teams who shoot the threes against the Warriors only make 31% of them, which is a really good number. That's below league average, I think. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure league average at this point for three-pointers made is like, you know, 35 or something. I could be wrong on that. I don't have the number in front of me but I'm pretty sure that's below league average. And then they are also second in the league in steals. The Warriors are getting it done offensively, defensively, and didn't mention that they're doing this without Steph Curry. Steph Curry has been out for the last three games because of, you know, unfortunately he sprained his ankle. And so he's been out and they still have got it done. They have won three in a row without him, twice against the Pelicans and tonight against the Rockets. One of the key reasons is Buddy Heald. Again, I just made a video on him recently, but did you know that Buddy Heald is going insane? He is the leading scorer for the Warriors, even more than Steph. But again, Steph only played two games, so, you know, that number will change when Steph comes back. Buddy Heald scored 27 again tonight on 6 of 10 from 3. If you watch that video I did on Buddy Heald, I said there's no reason. I said there's no reason he can't shoot upwards of 45% on threes because he's going to have so many wide open ones. I said 50% may be pushing it because that's hard. Well, guess what? Buddy Heald is shooting 50% from three on the season on 10 attempts. And after tonight, he shot 60%. Like I said, six, six of 10 from three, which means that number is only going up. Can we talk about Andrew Wiggins as well? Because I also did say a couple weeks ago, whenever I was talking about the Warriors, I was going to say, I said Andrew Wiggins is going to have a bounce back season. Andrew Wiggins looks like 2022 all-star Andrew Wiggins. He's averaging 19.7 points per game. And again, after tonight's game, the stats will change because they just played. But he's averaging almost 20, 20 per game on 56% from three. Excuse me, 58% from three and 55% from the field. 58% from three, go Andrew. How about Jonathan Kaminga? Tonight he took over in overtime. I don't know if he ended up scoring all the points in overtime, but he scored almost all of them at least. He took over and helped them get a win. They had a huge lead in this game. They were up by like 31 points and then they blew the lead. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, they blew the lead, but they still won the game. So, I mean, at the end of the day, people just look at the W. They don't really look at, you know, what happened when they blew the lead? Brandon Pajemski. Again, D'Anthony Melton is out too. And by the way, Andrew Wiggins just came back tonight. He was out the last couple of games as well, and they were still winning without him and Steph and D'Anthony Melton. I'm telling you, 
this team is nice. Now, is it really fair when I said yesterday when I was talking about the Cavs, we shouldn't overreact necessarily to a 7-0 start. Oh, actually 6-0, but 7-0 now. Shout out to the Cavs because they won again tonight. But I do think the Cavs are a good team. But I was saying, you know, it is early, so we don't want to overreact. So am I kind of being hypocritical and overreacting a bit to the Warriors? Yes and no. It is early on, so that's fair enough. Things can change. But again, the the numbers don't lie. Like, it's not just that they're winning games. It's the way they're doing it. Like the statistics I told you, all those top defensive numbers, the way they do, 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 da, 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 da. the way that <laughs> I may have to leave that in the video because I, <laughs> it was like I was a robot for a second malfunctioning. Like, what was that? I'm sure someone will watch the video and be like, oh, she's AI, she's not real now because of that. I'm very much real, I promise. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the way that they're doing it as a team, they lead the league in bench points, by the way, 59 points off the bench per game. That's crazy. And again, like I said, Steph is not even there and they're still winning and they're still doing all these things and they're blowing teams out. They're not just winning. Like I said, it's not just that they're winning. It's how they're winning. They are wiping the floor with these teams. And no, they did not play like the Celtics yet and stuff like that. They actually do play the Celtics, I think, two games from now. So that will be a test for them. I don't know if Steph will be back. And so we'll have to see. But like the Warriors are really, really winning these games convincingly. It may be an unpopular opinion. And obviously... One of the teams that they would have to look out for is OKC because OKC is really playing well also. And of course, they don't even have Isaiah Hartenstein back yet. Like that team is also nice. But I really do think this Warriors team can win the West and go to the NBA Finals and potentially win another title. Let's just say it came down to them playing OKC in the Western Conference Finals, right? OKC, like I said, a ton of talent up and down the roster. Like they have a super nice roster. But the one thing that they don't have that the Warriors do have is that championship and playoff experience. And even though, for example, like Kaminga and Moody and Brandon Pajemski, but more so Kaminga and Moody are younger players, they've been to the playoffs like three or four times. I guess three. Yeah, must be three now three times with the Warriors. So they do have playoff experience themselves. And then of course, you have Steph Curry, Draymond Green, and Steve Kerr, who have some of the most championship and playoff experience there is. And Kavon Looney, let's not forget about Kavon Looney. He's been there the whole time with them throughout this Warriors you know, championship run and their dynasty. And then you have guys like Kyle Anderson. He has playoff experience. He was on the Spurs. He was on the Grizzlies. He was on a bunch of teams. He was on the Timberwolves last year. Like, he's been to the playoffs. DeAnthony Melton, smart, savvy veteran. Buddy Heald, we already talked about him. So this roster is poised to make a deep playoff run. I just think because they don't have the big names like they used to, because, you know, it's not Kevin Durant and Steph Curry now. It's Kevin Durant, I mean, it's Steph Curry and Buddy Heald. Steph Curry and Brandon Pajemski. And so that doesn't like flash to people, <laughs> but this team is nice. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if they're healthy, and I think they will be healthy, look out for them.